Hi, it's Susan from The Funky Professor. And as 2020 draws to a close, I wanted to share with you three books that completely changed my life this year. Um, these are The Chimp Paradox by Professor Steve Peters. It's brilliantly titled Surrounded by Idiots by Thomas Erickson. And The Choice by Edith Eager. Now, the first of these, The Chimp Paradox, is, is a wonderful book and it, in it, P Professor Peters describes how the brain is formed and how we think. And he uses this wonderful analogy of three parts of the brain. Uh, one is your chimp brain, which is very reactive. The other part is your human brain, which is more logical. And the third part is your computer brain, where memory is stored. And he talks about how these three parts of your brain interact. So when you come across new situations, um, you firstly react using your chimp brain, but then your human brain can override some of your chimp thoughts. These feed information to the computer, which acts as your memory store. And by understanding this, you can then, of course, begin to change how you react to certain situations. And I'd never considered this before. The second part of the book is how you respond and you react with the world around you to situations, to other people. And the final part is about your health and your success and your happiness. And he gives you strategies to put into place um, methods that you can use for becoming successful, be it in studying, in business, in sport, whatever it may be. So I've been through several years in medical school, through surgical training. I've been a consultant now for several years, but I've never really considered how I think or why I think the way I do. And when I understood some of these things, it made me realize, gosh, why aren't we being taught this at medical school? Because if you can understand yourself, you can be so much better and so much stronger as a person, and you can be so much more effective in your studies, in your job. And um, over the next year, I'm going to start discussing um, bits of this book in more detail. Um, as part of um, the premium package, you will of course get regular tutorials from me. But if you can, I highly recommend go out and buy this. He's also got a website that's worth taking a look at. The next book is Surrounded by Idiots by um, Thomas Erickson. Now I happened to pick this up um, as I was waiting for a train and it was the, the colours on the book, but also the title Surrounded by Idiots. As I, I must admit, sometimes I do feel like <laughs> surrounded by idiots, but guess what? That's because of the type of personality that I am. Essentially, he talks about four different personality types, which he assigns a colour to red, um, yellow, green or blue. And there are certain characteristics and certain traits that each of these personality types have. Now, in truth, you are more likely to be a combination of two or possibly three of these. And um, it explains what these personality types are, what they like to do, what makes them excited, what makes them productive. But here's the interesting thing. It also makes you understand how other people view you. And by um, understanding that, you can be much more effective as you go into your um, study environment, into your working environment. It also gives you um, ideas of how to get the best out of different personality types. But the thing that I, I found most interesting about this book is that communication happens on the terms of the listener. Now, for me, that was a real game changer. It was like when I first started learning how to teach. When I, when I was learning, when I used to teach, I used to think, well, I'm, how can I teach this subject best? But when I did a course in teaching, what I learned is my job as a teacher is to find a way to help my students learn better. It's a very subtle difference, but it completely changed the way I used to teach. And similarly, this idea of communication not being about what I'm saying or how I say it, is much more important how the person I'm speaking to receives the information was a game changer. And it also made me realize for the first time why some people find me really annoying. <laughs> I think that's because I'm a classic red and yellow type personality, which is I love lots of ideas and I think, let's be creative, let's get everybody involved, let's do this. But most of the world are actually tend to be in the green category or green blue category and they tend to be slightly more cautious and for somebody who is a bit more cautious having to deal with somebody who's red who's like yay let's do everything is really annoying so thank you Thomas for explaining to me why people find me annoying I highly recommend this and once again I think that it's um it's so important for, for us to understand this as we go into our working lives, into our careers, because we're going to be mixing with all sorts of people, um, both on a, um, 
academic level, on a clinical level, you're meeting patients, you'll be meeting other doctors, nurses, physios, occupational therapists, you'll be meeting clerical staff, and you've got to be able to understand how you come across in order to be the best that you can be and in order to get the best out of people who are working with you. I wish I'd read this several years ago. And the final book is a book by um, Edith Eger and it's called The Choice. And now, um, Edith was um, a lady who lived through the Second World War. She was Jewish. Uh, she was captured and um, she was in a prison camp for several years. And this book is divided into three sections. The first section, she talks about her story, how she ended up in the prison camps and how she um, daily life was like and how she survived it. The second part, she talks about her life when she went to America, having been uh, set free from the prison camps and how she developed a career in psychology. And in the final section, she talks about different patients that she's treated and how she brought her experience in the prison camps to help people um, deal with everyday problems. And it is a remarkable book of human compassion, of love, of kindness, forgiveness. And it really does um, bring the point that whatever situation you find yourself in, no matter how hard it gets, you always have a choice. And the choice that you have is how you think about a situation and how you choose to respond to a situation. So the combination of these three books, The Chimp, Surrounded by Idiots and Edith Edgar, was, was really um, timely for me. And if you can, try and get yourself one of these books. It's a real treat and I would love to hear from you um, your experiences of reading the book. With that said, thank you so much for supporting us at The Funky Professor. It's been an incredible year for us. We've produced so much content that we can't wait to share with you. We're continuing to do so. And please, please, please let, let me know what you like, what you don't like. And so we can make sure that we give you the best service that we can. I wish you and your family all the very, very best for 2021. Thank you.